So Aston Martin potentially on track to really upset Alfa Romeo here with Ackerman. Where's he gonna go? Down the inside he goes, and they've hit each other! That's really aggressive from Devon Butler. He sends both cars spinning out. Butler into the barrier, and that looks to be the end of the race for him. Too late on the brakes. I'm sure the stewards will be looking at this one after the race. But the Aston Martin car still moving. The... Yeah. Determination on show from Racing Point and Aidan Jackson today. No, you're not wrong there, and his performance has improved. His teammates after him. Willie Budge! Hold position, Aiden. Oh, I've never seen anything like this on a racetrack before! Two teammates wheel to wheel! Keep it clean! Inches separating them and they crash! Oh, they've come together in spectacular style! And they're both out of the race! There's still plenty of time for more drama. There certainly is, Crofty, and these two have been fighting each other incredibly hard so far. They don't want to go tripping over each other, though, because Devon Butler is coming up from behind. He's on the attack, too. Aiden, Casper's not your priority. We need you to defend. It's OK. I've got this. Here comes Butler. Three abreast going into turn 11. On oh, this can't work, and it doesn't. Ackerman's off onto the verge of what looks like damage as well. Is he okay? It's Casper okay? He'll be fine, he's heading for the pits now. You just concentrate on the race. And there we have it. So I'm sure there's going to be fireworks in the Racing Point garage this evening. There will be, Crofty, for sure. Look, it was a late move from Devon Butler, but you never want to see two teammates make contact. And Ackerman will surely be seething at that one. Absolutely. And I'll tell you who else isn't going to be happy too. Aidan Jackson. Not how his F1 race debut should have gone.